My name is Joy and this is my nest. Today I'm here with a short tutorial on how to do a beaded pico cast on. To do that you will need your yarn and your needles. Then you will need beads that fit on your yarn and then you will need a crochet hook that will fit into the hole in your bead. Once you have all that, we can get started. Okay, so to do our beaded pico cast on, we're going to use the yarn, needles, beads, and a crochet hook. This cast on starts with a knitted cast on. And we're going to start by putting on five stitches on the needle. Here we go, I'm going to put my slip stitch, or my slip knot, on the needle. And then I'm going to cast on five stitches. The slip knot counts as the first stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five. So that's our setup for the beaded pico cast on. Now we need our first bead. Okay, so you take your crochet hook and you place your bead on the hook like that. Now we're going to take the first stitch on the needle and slip it onto the crochet hook and we're going to pull that stitch through the bead. Then we'll place the bead on the right needle and now we are going to bind off two stitches. So knit one, bind off, knit two, bind off. Okay, so we started with five and now we have three. <laughs> Seems like we're going in the wrong direction. But now we're going to cast on four. One. Whoops, I'm splitting my stitch. Two. Three. Four. Okay. So I have the original, the three that we started with, plus four new stitches. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to take this bead, put it on my crochet hook, take the first stitch off the needle, draw the loop through the bead, put that stitch on the right hand needle, and now I'm going to bind off two stitches. Knit one, bind it off. Knit two, bind it off, and return that stitch to the left needle. So we had three stitches, now we have five stitches. So we repeat the process. We're going to cast on four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Place the bead on the crochet hook. Put the first stitch on the needle onto the crochet hook. Draw the stitch through the bead, put that stitch back on the right hand needle. Now bind off two stitches. So we're going to knit one, bind off one, knit two, bind off two, or the second stitch. Okay. So now you can start to see what's happening here. 
We had three and then five and now we have seven stitches on the needle. So we're increasing by two every time we do this. And you can see they're kind of grouping by twos. So the first two stitches are together, the next two are together, the next two are together. And in between where the groups of two are is where the beaded pico is. And you can see the pico edge dangling down there with the bead at the very tip of it. So that is our beaded pico cast on.